Welcome. In this video, I will give you a quick review of all the 70 Apple Arcade games currently available to help you find the games that you like. I will be playing on the Apple iPad Pro and I will use a controller for most of the games. Apple Arcade is available on iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS and you can use a MFI, PS4 and Xbox controller on all those devices. Using a controller gives you the best experience and if you are planning on getting something like this and also want to support my channel, feel free to check out the links in the video description. Down there you can also find timestamps to all the games in this video. Thanks a lot. Now, let's get going. The first game is Brawls by LEGO. This game has really crisp graphics. It's a brawler game, which means it's all about jumping around on a map, bashing each other and monsters. There is an online mode, but when I tried it, it was not working. This game is all about collecting points that you can trade for new appearances and weapons. The graphics is awesome, but in general, the game is just okay. Next up is Frogger. This game was showcased on the Apple September event, where it looked kinda boring to me. But after trying it out myself, I must say it's more impressive than what they made it look like. In this game you play as the frog named Frogger. Your objective is to venture to the human world in order to rescue frogs that have ended up in dangerous places. You will be completing different levels where you get higher score by finding and saving the little frogs along the way. Pretty much all the objects you see on the map is physically based, which is awesome, and new creative obstacles is introduced as you progress. This game is really cool and you should definitely check it out. Grindstone In this strategy and puzzle game, you play as an old brute who dreams about taking his family to the mudflat resorts. So one night you head out to slay monsters and gather grindstones so that you can earn money for the trip. You will be slaying a lot of peaceful monsters, but beware, the longer you stay grinding on each level, the more aggressive they get. When you found all the keys, it's up to you if you want to escape to the next level or stay grinding, but also risking to lose what you made so far. This game is okay, though it feels a bit weird that not even a game produced by Apple has support for the aspect ratio of the new iPad Pro. Cat Quest this adventure game can be played alone or in local multiplayer co-op. In any case, you play as a cat and his fellow sidekick, who happens to be a dog. They will end up on an adventure to save the kingdom from an evil ruler. In single play mode, you will be able to switch between the two characters. You will find armor, weapon and learn new abilities that you can equip with your heroes. Different monsters are vulnerable to different kind of attacks and sometimes you need to use your environment to kill them. This game has an awesome story and a huge world for you to explore. This game is one of my favorite. I really like it. Don't bug me. You have landed your energy pod on Mars and now you have to defend it. Your only friend is the computer AI that controls your turrets and provides useful information. Your resource is solar energy and you can use it to build turrets, walls and other contraptions to defend yourself against the wave of Martians attacking you. Over time there will be different kind of monsters and you will get new stuff to build in order to counter their different abilities. Deciding if you should build a defense or upgrading your solar power station is the never ending question in this game. This game is worth checking out, but don't expect too much. It's very simple and could need more depth. Spaceland Jim and Barrett are two space rangers that hear a distress signal. They decide to go for it, but unfortunately the weather is really bad and they crash land right outside the base where the signal came from. It turns out that the base has been overrun by insect monsters. As their ship is broken, they decide to search the base for repairs and survivors. Spaceland is a turn-based tactics game. Over time you will find survivors that will join your team and help you fight the insects. Each individual has a unique set of abilities 
that will come in handy when you're trying to make your way through the infested base. This game has fresh looking graphics and is probably really nice if you like turn based action games, though it's not my type of game. The Pinball Wizard is a pinball game where you play as a wizard and you are trying to get to the top of the wizard tower. Though getting to the top can be hard and you will probably die trying. Though as you game on you will earn more experience and level up. By leveling up you increase your stats and get higher damage, higher health and new abilities. Who knows what's on the top of the tower, soon you might be strong enough to get there. This game is really well made and fun to play. I don't like classic pinball games, but I do like this one. I recommend you check it out. In Dodo Peak you play as a dodo bird and your objective is to gather all your hatchlings and then return to the nest. Along the map there is different monsters and obstacles that you have to avoid. And as you collect your hatchlings they will follow you and thus you get a longer tail making it harder and harder. Each map introduces new kind of obstacles and more hatchlings to collect. You will also be able to unlock new dodos with special abilities. This game is okay. Next is Mini Motorways. In this game your objective is to draw roads between the small houses to the larger buildings. Red houses need to be connected to red buildings and so on. New houses will appear randomly across the map as you play and it's up to you to use the limited supplies to try and connect all the necessary endpoints. You'll get more resources as you progress and the game ends if people can't get to the buildings in time. In Overland you play as a survivor in a post-apocalyptic world and you are trying to get from the east coast to the west coast. In this game you have to stay at different places along the way and try and find more gasoline for your car. The game is turn based and you have to avoid monsters while gathering supplies. Along the way you can find rivaling survivors and dogs that you can recruit if you want. This game is very repetitive and slow, so it was a bit boring. If you are looking for a relaxing story and you like puzzle games, then Assemble with Care may be the perfect fit for you. In this game you will follow Maria on a very emotional narrated adventure as she travels and tries to make a living by fixing stuff. You will meet many interesting personalities and help them repair their things. This game is really well made and you should check it out. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways and everything in between. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. In Oceanhorn you play as a knight in training who is designated to fight a great evil. This adventure game is really well made and has detailed environments. You will be slaying different monsters and solving puzzles to progress. Oceanhorn is a nice experience and I recommend you try it out if you are looking for an adventure with some more depth. Hey you're back! I'm glad you've returned safely. It Sayonara is a speedrunner game with amazing visuals and emotional impact. You are playing as a hero with arcane powers and you are trying to save a distant world from a great evil. This game introduces new mechanics and environments as you progress. And everything is happening to the beat of the music which gives great emotional impact. I really recommend you try this one, it's a nice experience. Over the Alps is a story that takes place in the beginning of World War II. You will be playing as agents named Aubrey and you are on a mission. This game was insanely boring to me, but if you like stories and don't mind just clicking through dialogues, then maybe you will like it.
Hot Lava is a weird game. It has a really awesome intro, but the actual gameplay is much less awesome. Hey Squirt, better get moving before mom comes down. You can play either by looking around with your device or using a controller. You will be jumping across different maps just to make it to the end. Each map is like an obstacle course where you must not fall into the lava. In this game you will be able to meet other players online and have fun together. This game is okay. In Mutazione you play as a girl who has a dying grandfather and you are traveling to meet him on his deathbed. Though the grandfather is a mutant and lives on an isolated island, on her way there she has some scary dream that implies there is something magical lingering. She meets her grandfather and he treats her as if she is very important for some mystical reason. The world has many interesting personalities, but except from that it's pretty boring as you will pretty much be doing dialogues the whole time. And it gets pretty tiring as they are not narrated. Speed Demon is an arcade racing game where you drive on a densely trafficked motorway. There are a couple of game modes. You can either go rampage where your goal is to destroy other cars. You can race and be the fastest. You can be a police and chase other cars or get chased. This game is way too simple for me and it's get pretty boring after about 5 minutes. Spec is a perspective puzzle game where you rotate different shapes to bridge their outlines so that your dots can capture points. This game is okay. Tint is another puzzle game where you combine colors in order to solve each map. This can get pretty tricky and was a fun experience. I recommend you check it out. Projection is a game where you play as a curious little girl. One day on your way to school you steal an apple and crash a car while chasing some mysterious glowing creature. The creature then escape and you follow it to an old house. There you will suddenly be able to control the glowing creature and you can use it to project shadows that your character will be able to walk on. This mechanic can be pretty cool at first glance but it's not very well utilized in this game. For the first 40 minutes of gameplay nothing happens except from you running around in a pretty empty world and solving the same problem over and over again. Sorry, but I do not recommend this game. Super Impossible Row is a racing game where you race as a ball on an unconventional racing track. There are multiple balls to select from and they have different skills like steering, air control and bounciness. This game is pretty cool. Sonic Racing is another racing game. If you play Mario Kart, you will understand exactly what this is, as it's pretty much the same. In this game, you race in a team of four against other teams. You play online and can team up with your friends. There are multiple cars and characters to race with. This game is pretty fun, but I would really like it to be available in landscape mode. Hyper Brawl is a soccer and brawler fusion. Your team consists of two heroes and the objective is to get a ball in the opponent's goal. As this also is a brawler, you will be able to hit and kill your opponent's players. There are multiple heroes and weapons to choose from. You can play alone or up to four players on local multiplayer. In online multiplayer you can do solo and duo. I tried online mode, but I had a pretty bad experience as servers was very laggy. This game is okay, but has a few issues. For example, I wish the camera was a lot closer to the action. You must pass the trials and prove you are worthy of this challenge. 
Possessions is another perspective puzzle game where you also get a glimpse from the family living in the space where you solve the puzzles. In my opinion this puzzle game is extremely repetitive and the story could be told in a lot more engaging way. In Fledgling Heroes you play as different animals trying to complete each map to make it on to the next. Along the way you collect coins, unlock new characters and also obstacles that you can use to build your own maps in the built-in map maker. You can play this game alone and also in 2 player local multiplayer. This game is ok and I think kids would really like it. In Choo Choo Rocket Universe, an evil lord has kidnapped almost all the Choo Choo's, except a few, and it's up to them to go on a rescue mission. This is a puzzle game, where you place arrows on a 3D map to navigate your Choo Choo's to their spaceship. This game is ok, but could really need some exciting in-between cinematics to level up the fun. In big time sports you compete in different mini game sports and you are trying to get the highest scores. Each sport has a different mechanics but they are all mostly based around timing and in just a few cases it's speed. You can play alone or up to two players on local multiplayer. Though as you have to take turns it ruins a lot of the fun. This game is pretty boring as most sport mechanics are very similar and a single colored background give no additional stimulations. Red Rain is a strategy game where you can play local single player or online multiplayer. There are so far two factions to choose from, humans and orcs. In this game you upgrade your base, produce troops, send them along the lanes and conquer resources. The objective is to destroy the enemy base. This game is really fun, there are cool monsters to build and it's challenging to figure out your tactics. I really recommend you check this game out. In Enchanted World you play as a magical creature that seems to have much love for the nature. Though something evil is happening in the world which makes you go on an adventure. This is a puzzle game where you move different tiles to progress the map. It's really fun and does not get boring as the environment is changing all the time. This is a nice puzzle game. Sneaky Sasquatch. Yeah, that's you in this playful explorer game. You are forbidden to enter the park as the guard think you will scare the guests. But that does not stop you from entering. In this game you sneak around in the park exploring, collecting food and coins while making sure you don't get caught. And if you find a fox he will challenge you to do crazy things like scaring visitors or pushing out the canoes. If you complete these challenges you'll get some coins. The coins can be traded for stuff at a raccoon's house and if you visit the bear you can trade your extra food to get even more coins. This game has a pretty large map that is fun to explore. I recommend you check this game out. Next game is WCF. This is kind of a puzzle game where you raise houses of card to create platforms that allow you to complete each map. In between the maps there is scenes, where you get a glimpse of the character's life. Though these scenes are pretty lame and boring. I do not recommend this game, it's way too repetitive and boring. In Neo Cab you play as a human taxi driver that just moved to a new town. In this futuristic town it's quite uncommon with human drivers as AI taxi cars has become the norm. All this technology is controlled by one specific company. In this game you'll drive around the city, picking up different passengers and through them you learn more and more about this company. And it does not seem that everything is alright. 
This game is okay, but make sure you really like dialogues, because <coughs> that's what this game consists of. Painting Mob is a game where you explode and splash paint on mobs surrounding you. A splashed mob gets angry and will chase you, and your objective is to splash a certain number of mobs without getting caught. This game has fun graphics, but the gameplay can feel a bit messy, as there is so much going on. This game is not something I would play, but a kid might like it. Word Laces is a word game, where you have a picture and you must connect letters to make words from that picture. This game is nice if you want something relaxing, challenging, need to practice your English or spelling. You can also get new laces to make it a bit more personal. Check it out if you like word games. In Battle Sky Harpooner Brigade, you are a bunch of bunnies that is collecting gold. You do it by firing a harpoon vehicle, killing and destroying stuff and then collecting coins as you get cranked back. This game will be fun for you if you love farming coins and doing upgrades. But for me, I don't see a reason to play it. I wish this game had some story to make it more into an experience and not just pure farming. Skate City In this game you skate around on different maps doing tricks. There is a few game modes where you are challenged to do a number of tricks within a given time. Completing these challenges give you coins that you can trade for skating gear in the shop. This game is pretty shitty. Different tricks is performed by just swiping in different directions. There are only three different maps and the items in the shop has no variation except from color. I do not recommend this game. In Dread Nautical, you are on a ship that is attacked by a great evil. You wake up in a room where you meet your buddy Jed. The ship has been attacked but nobody knows what caused the horrors. It's up to you to search the ship to find out what has happened and also try and rescue as many survivors as possible. This is a turn-based tactics game where you fight monsters, collect weapons and level up your equipment. This game is pretty challenging and has mysterious story to experience. The game is pretty okay and you should probably check it out if you like turn-based tactics games. In Towanga Among Shadows, you play as the shaman apprentice Shimu that is training to become strong enough to defeat the great evil that has conquered the lands. In this game you blast enemies with your awesome shaman powers. It's a game where you have to manage your ultimate attacks to keep the stream of monsters at bay. As you progress you will level up and get better stats and abilities. The mechanics of the game varies a bit as you play and you are introduced to new monsters. This game is casual, but pretty fun and challenging, and worth checking out. Tangle Tower is a murder mystery adventure where you play as two detectives with interesting personalities. You have been sent to the Tangle Tower to figure out who killed the painter Freya Fellow. In this game you will be exploring the rooms of Tangle Tower, interrogate the people living there and solve puzzles. It's a really fun and well-made game. You should absolutely try this one out. Right, fine. I heard someone heading down the stairs. They're just outside my room. The footsteps were calm, orderly, so I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So I looked out into the hallway. Bermuda is another puzzle game. A heavy storm causes a pilot to crash. 30 years later, you arrive and finds the pilot. He needs help to escape the island. In this game, you will be helping the pilot to travel through different portals by solving puzzles to open them. This game is all about exploring different environments to find hidden buttons and solve puzzles. This game is okay. 
In Way of the Turtle, two turtles on their honeymoon has ended up on each side of a big island, and they now have to find each other. This game looks like a kid's game, but actually becomes pretty challenging as you progress. You will interchangeably play as the husband and wife, and help them get closer to each other. The island has a lot of obstacles, and you will be learning new abilities to solve the different platform challenges and kill the monsters in your way. This game is fun, try it out! In Bleak's Word, you play as a warrior on a quest to find three magical stones that can be used to defeat the evil king ruling the world. This game is a fighting game where you kill a bunch of monsters on each map in order to progress. You will be leveling up along the way and get stronger and better abilities. There will be many different monsters and bosses for you to try and kill. This game is pretty fun and becomes quite challenging. Spell Drifter is a turn-based tactics game where you get random attacks by drawing cards from a deck. This game is an awkward experience. In my opinion, most things in this game is really bad. The story is very confusing, the graphics is a bit blurry, the battle makes little sense and also the electric guitar sound effects are awful. And it feels even more weird as they mix modern guitars with medieval music. Sorry, but I could not stand this game. Try it on your own risk. Stellar is a strategy game where you have to defeat your enemy within a few minutes or the whole planet will explode. This game is played online versus other players. You will be building land vehicles to conquer more land. You will construct missile defenses to defend against incoming missiles. And you will build your own missiles and send them towards your enemies. The graphics are a bit messy and it can be difficult for a beginner to understand what's going on. Except from that, this game is okay. What the golf is... a golf game I guess? I'm not sure, but anyway, in this game you will be completing different golf maps in very creative ways. Most levels are pretty easy, so I would say this game is more about having a good time. This game is fun and inspiring. Check it out! Life Slide is a game where you play as a paper plane. It's all about getting as far as possible without crashing into anything. You also have to collect stuff in order to not run out of time. There are a couple of different paper planes to unlock. For me, this game is the kind of game that you try once and then never pick up again. Also, if the developers are watching this, I want to tell them there is no air in space, so why is there wind sounds in the intro? Card of Darkness is a strategy game. Your hero wants to get to the bridge on the other side of the tiles and you have to do so by slaying the tiles and make a path. But beware, if you run out of health, you lose. This game can be a bit difficult to explain, but it basically works like this. You collect weapons with even or odd numbers. If the weapon and monster has the same parity, you get to keep the weapon when you hit the monster. Otherwise it breaks. If you hit a tile with higher number, you take damage equal to the difference. Each monster tile has a different behavior and you can also collect spells that you can use to your advantage. This game was fun, but sometimes it felt it was a bit too random if you were to complete a map or not. In Atone, Heart of the Elder Tree, you first play as a father, who also is special, because he can wield the power of the crystal. One night, something evil attacks the village and kills pretty much everyone. The father finds his young daughter in the woods. But the great evil chases them down and slays the father while the daughter is hiding. There is then a jump in time and here is where your adventure begins. 
you will play as their daughter many years later. Some mysterious power has started making people crazy and killing each other. You set out to solve the mystery and also find out what killed your father when you was young. This is an adventure, puzzle and music game and it's pretty nice. The Get Out Kids takes place in a tiny town where a strange couple recently bought a spooky villa and a cemetery. Since they moved in, pets have started to disappear in the town. In this game you play as two kids who likes to sneak out late in the evening to enjoy things like movies and snacks. One night it goes terribly wrong, their dog disappears and they fear for his life. The adventure starts here and you will have to go on a mission to find and, hope and hopefully save your dog. This game is an adventure and puzzle game with an exciting story. It's pretty nice and you should check it out. In Murder Mystery Machine, you play as a murder investigator that tries to solve murders. You will be visiting crime scenes, look for clues and interrogate people. Finally, you have to connect your clues and send reports. This game was pretty boring to me. It was too much straight on point and too little about making you feel the murder was a real mystery. I would not play this game. Exit the Dungeon is a game where your weapon changes all the time while you play. This forces you to adapt and makes every run unique. Your objective is to make it out of the dungeon by slaying the monsters on each level. This game will be fun if you enjoy managing constant chaos and dodging bullets. This game is okay. Outlanders is a strategy and resource management game where you are managing a settlement. Each map has a unique objective that you have to complete within a given time. Objectives like gathering a certain amount of wood, having a large population or making sure there is a specific amount of tomatoes in your storage. In the first map you will start with a very limited amount of things to build. But as you complete more maps, you also unlock new buildings and professions. This game is really fun and the graphics is very nice. The game has huge potential to be developed into something even more complex, where there is even more types of buildings and materials to gather. I like this game, I recommend you check it out. Cricket Through the Ages is not a game that you should take serious. Has the Earth's resources dwindled? Humankind took cricket to the stars. This game is for you if you just want to have some silly fun. I recommend you play it in two player local multiplayer for maximum laugh. And it may be even better on Apple TV. This is the kind of game that is fun if you make it fun. Next up is a relaxing game of puzzle. It's called Patterned and you will simply be placing pieces of a pattern to complete the full picture. This game is meant to be played slow and make you relax. There are a lot of different patterns to do. And this is a pretty nice game if you like this kind of games. In Dead End Job you play as Hector who is a ghost hunter working at a small ghost extermination firm. In this game you will be capturing ghosts, level up, get stronger and find weapons. Both characters and gameplay is really fun in this game. This is another good one, I recommend you check it out. In Codepocalypse you play as a kid who has her first day in a new school, where everyone is playing this popular strategy card game. You have never played before, but you get a starter pack and start making friends by playing against them. This game is a game within a game, and the game within the game is kinda the actual game. The card game is pretty nice and I would say it's very similar to Hearthstone. So you will be playing this card game while also following the story of the kid. And additional to that, some evil powers seems to be lurking in the real world. This game is really nice and I really recommend you check it out. 
Hexaflip is a cool game where you have to complete different levels by navigating the map. It gets pretty challenging and elaborate the longer you get. There are stars located along the map, but if you are not fast enough, they will disappear. This game is actually fun, check it out! In Jenny Le Clou, something mysterious is happening outside the town. In this game you play as Jenny, who is an excellent detective. In the beginning you will start noticing that everything is not alright with some of the citizens. One thing leads to the next, and you end up on an adventure trying to find out what's going on. In this game you will be looking at people and environments to try and find clues to understand what they are up to. This game is okay. Kings League 2 is a strategy game where you compete in an honorable tournament. You will be leveling up, hiring members to your team, selecting what stats to improve, collecting gold and much more. Your objective is to be the tournament champion and to get there you have to be the strongest. In between the tournament matches you have time to train, do quests, capture villagers and more to improve your strength and wealth. This game is well made and really fun if you want to spend a lot of time grinding and winning the tournament. Shin Sekai is an adventure game where you play as a guy with a diving mask. You live underwater in a world where the ice is expanding and forcing you deeper and deeper down towards the depth. In this game you have to find materials and upgrade your suit to make it resist higher pressure so that you can dive deeper. The deeper you go, the more you find out about what really happened in this world. There will also be monsters, so you will upgrade your weapons and other abilities. This game is pretty cool, but was in really low resolution, so it was pretty blurry on the iPad Pro. In Stranded Sails, you leave the harbor with your father and his crew. But you sail into a storm and you get stranded. In this game you have to survive on an island and also find all the crew members. You will be exploring, growing crops and gathering materials. This game did not feel complete. The world is a bit empty and farming is pretty boring. Try it if you want, but I do not recommend this game. It needs to improve. Spider Sours A company has a problem. They breed genetically modified spider sours just to make food out of them. They escaped! What? What? We have them um, temporarily contained, <laughs> right? But their cattle has escaped and they are dangerous. It's up to you to select your hero and then kill the spider sours to contain the catastrophic event. In this game, you will be jumping and shooting to kill the spider sours. There are different weapon upgrades and many different monsters. There is a nice narrated story and a lot of humor. This game is fun, check it out! In Earth Night, the Earth has been taken over by dragons. All humans except you has given up their hope of ever getting the Earth back. In this game you will be slaying dragons in order to try and take back the Earth. It's a speedrunner game where you collect gold and kill monsters to gather points. This game is cool and has a badass look, though it's difficult to know if you ever make any progress. And that makes the game feel a bit strange. In Shantae, you are a half genie and you are visiting a town where a festival will take place. On your way there you feel something strange is lingering in the air, but you don't know if it's legit or not. The festival starts and you and some other half genies perform a dance show. Suddenly something happens and all genies except you disappear. This is a mystery and it's up to you to solve it. In this platformer you will be jumping around and killing monsters. You must find the genies and find out why they disappeared. 
This game is okay, but I don't know what, but something made me feel it was not very polished. In Rayman Mini, you are tiny, and that's it. This game does not really have a story. In this game, you jump, slide, fly, and much more in order to complete each map. It starts super easy and gets a lot harder the further you get. You must collect all the coins and fireflies in order to get the highest score. There is also several characters to choose from. This game is really fun later on when the maps get really challenging. It's fun, check it out! Punch Planet is a fighter game. It's cool, but unfortunately, it's just a little bit too simple. The characters are awesome, but unfortunately, there is only 6 of them. This game is cool, but I really wish it had more stuff. Operator 41. Congratulations! I named this game the shittiest game on Apple Arcade. This game was a mess. Why? Well, it felt weird and there was only a handful of maps to play. Each map was super simple and after 15 minutes I got to the end. I don't understand why this game is on Apple Arcade. In order for it to work, they have to add a lot more maps that is a lot more intelligent. Otherwise, they should just remove it. In various day life, you play as a settler, arriving to new land. You will get accommodation and then it's up to you to get a job and talk to people. The game view is split in two, where the bottom half mostly contains your buttons to interact with. The split view is kinda weird, it feels like this game was meant for something like the Nintendo DS. Anyway, in this game you will only be doing dialogues, and it's kinda like a role playing game that you play alone. It's not my kind of game, so I did not like it, though I have heard that others that is into this kind of stuff like it, so if you find it interesting, check it out. Also, the resolution was very low, so it was pretty blurry on the iPad. In Explotens, you play as a cat pilot fighting to protect your nation against an invasion. This game is all about upgrading your airplane, your weapons, your sidekick and more. You afford upgrades by killing enemies and gathering their loot. You will be completing different maps by doing objectives like saving cats or killing enemies. There is a lot of challenging and fun bosses. This game is really fun and it's very satisfying to upgrade your weapon and obliterate your enemies. Dear Reader is a word game where you read parts from different famous literature and you have to rearrange or fill in words. Your health is ink dots and you have to be pretty fast for them to not run out. This game is perfect for someone who needs to practice their reading skills but otherwise it's just okay. Agent Interception is a cool game where you have to complete a mission and get as high score as possible. 
This game has a daily global high score list and each day there is a new quest to complete. In order to get a good score you have to make sure you get combos. The combo counter will reset if you take too long for you to kill another enemy or collect another coin. This game is pretty fun and the daily high score list gives you a purpose to get higher score. I recommend you try this game. Wow! If you watched this video all the way until now, then I just want to say thank you. I truly appreciate your support and I hope you found this video helpful. It would mean a lot to me if you would like to like this video and if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Also, if there is any video you would like me to make for you, feel free to request it in the comment section below. Thanks a lot and I hope to see you again. Now, I will leave you to watch the rest of Agent Intercept as I beat a daily high score for this quest. Enjoy.